In this example, we'll write the molecular, complete ionic, and net ionic equations for precipitation reaction. Our problem reads, write the balance molecular, complete ionic, and net ionic equations for the reaction between aqueous aluminum sulfate and aqueous calcium nitrate. We'll start by writing the molecular equation. This is going to be a precipitation reaction. Aqueous aluminum sulfate will react with calcium nitrate to produce aqueous aluminum nitrate and solid calcium sulfate. In this precipitation reaction, when we switch the cations and anions in these ionic compounds, calcium sulfate is insoluble. So that is the precipitate. To balance the molecular equation, we can balance ions. Right now on the left, we have two aluminum 3 plus ions in aluminum sulfate. So to get two aluminum on the right, we need two aluminum nitrate. We also have three sulfate on the left with one aluminum sulfate. So to get three sulfate on the right, we need three calcium sulfate. We currently have three calcium 2 plus on the right, and to get three calcium 2 plus on the left, we'll need three calcium nitrate. And we can double check to make sure we have the same number of nitrate on both sides. And we do have six nitrate on both sides. So this should be our balanced molecular equation. To write the complete ionic equation, we're going to break apart any strong electrolytes. A strong electrolyte is a soluble salt or a strong acid. In this case, we just have soluble salts to break apart. Since aluminum sulfate is a soluble salt, it shows up as aqueous in our reaction. And our coefficient is 1 times the subscript of 2 aluminum in aluminum sulfate means we have 2 aluminum 3 plus ions. For sulfate, we have 3 sulfate in aluminum sulfate. So we end up with three sulfate ions. Calcium nitrate is also aqueous, so we'll split it apart since it's a strong electrolyte as a soluble salt. We have three calcium 2 plus ions. And we have three times two nitrate, so six nitrate ions. For our products, we're producing aluminum nitrate, which is also a strong electrolyte as a soluble salt, so we'll break it apart into aluminum 3 plus ions and 6 nitrate ions. Our calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt, which means it's not a strong electrolyte, so we do not break it apart in the complete ionic equation. It has to remain a solid. For our net ionic equation, we have to eliminate spectator ions. Spectator ions show up on both sides of the equation in the complete ionic equation. There are two aluminum 3 plus ions on both sides, and there are six nitrate ions on both sides. So we can eliminate these ions, and what is left is our net ionic equation. So our net ionic equation is 3 sulfate plus 2 calcium 2 plus produces 3 calcium sulfate solid. So these are our molecular, complete ionic, and net ionic equations.